How's it going? Excellent, excellent. Thanks. Let's uh, get on with it, shall we? I'm just bashing together a little shower unit real quick. Um, I've been showering outside for about two years, but I've got a friend visiting in August, so they're gonna wanna have access to a shower that's not being naked outside. I would have thought, never know, and they might be into that, I don't know, I'm not going to ask. I'm just going to build a quick shower. Now, I haven't got many materials, so I'm just going to have to ramshackle it. So let's do it. So the ramshackle bits I've got are fence posts. Make a little cube like that on a crappy old pallet. Clad it. Put the water heater in there. Make it go outside, don't trip over into the water so the water can be pumped in and make some sort of shower tray that can go through the floor and drain out the bottom of this decking. See how it goes. I'm thinking something like that. The gas, the solar that does the pump and then the shower unit the water comes in, the shower head obviously, the gas pipe goes out. Just need to make some sort of tray for in there and make the flooring better and put the drain through the floor. Then we'll be good. But that'll do me for now. Until I can get a drain that is. Nice. Jobs are good in. There we go, a little solar light for the shower as well. Need to get some sort of like hook thing to put this on properly. There's a shower curtain. Well, we'll do for now. Correct. I need to make a shower tray. And this is all I've got is this growing tray and it's cracked there. But we'll make it work, I guess. Salvage some bits for the drain. I think they'll work and just try and put them together and hope for the best. Yes, mate, that'll do me. Um, hopefully, that screw's not too big for it, but we'll see. So that's the drain in, but I need to take out that much. So that'll sit in there. Flat, which will be fun. Right, for a bit of melting and faffing, it's in, it's sort of flat ish. I need to pin this down, I probably have to put bits of wood in here, I reckon, and pin this. And there we go, thinking something like that and bosh some of them in there as well like that that'll do it if you do with some touching up and some shelves and these bits properly covered and all that business and put another piece along here and some hooks out here and a little shelf for the solar thing but that'll do me it's functional and I've run out of screws, so thanks very much. Pizza break. Done. <laughs> right, my little droogies, that's that little quick shower dealt with. I shall use that probably at the end of this episode and let you know how it actually is if it actually works hope so and uh, now I'm going to bosh on with some painting uh, I'll bang in some groovy music though because it is super windy 
and uh, yeah, you don't want to just watch painting, so I'll just speed it right up for you. It'll be mega, don't worry, watch this. <laughs> Very black. Sorry that took me a while, but lovely for me. Everybody else will hate it like, but it ain't for you. And we better when they get all the frames on the windows and get this horrible blue thing off. But thank you very much. And you too can make your own black paint if you want. You probably don't want. But it's just um, linseed oil, flour, charcoal, a bit of water. Give it a go. Alright, I'm going to call it a day and um, try out this shower. I'll let you know how it goes. And then I'll catch up with you tomorrow. See ya. Beautiful. I'm oh, a big fan of that. See you in the morning. Good morning, people. It is Tuesday, and it is Sweden's national day today, Sperry's national dag. So I think that's, I think it is the, it's like Independence Day from Danish rule, I think. If you're Swedish or you know, let me know in the comments. I think it's Danish. It's definitely independent anyway. So welcome to Tuesday. 
Today I need to sort out loads of the veg and plants. I've still got a few days left of the official frost date, but I have to get a lot of stuff done. I'll make it as interesting as possible. So let's do it. First things first, I think I might need to tape up these shoes. They've become like um, sandals. Bang a bit of tape on them, I think. Oh, where'd you get your new sneaks, mate? Oh, the new out, they're, uh, they're pretty hard to get hold of. They're called tapies. So, when it was windy the other day, the ducks got into this and ate every single one of these crops. So I'm going to have to redo that. I'll sort out this area. And I might even get that sorted. So, first things first. I'll deal with this. Need 26 new plants to go in here and they better not kill them all again but I'll weigh it down better this time obviously so let's transition to when this is done we'll just go for one of these replenished barricaded I don't think they'll be able to get their little snarfle beaks into that. Was the wind as well though. Are you listening? Good. Because I'll be raging if they uh, do get in again. Hopefully not. What task next? I need to mark out where tomatoes are going to go in here. And slice the little gap so I know how many will fit in here. Oh. Stalks. Loud. Uh, I might do that, but I won't show you that. It's boring. And then I can move things out of there and put new fabric in here on the floor. That means moving all these plants out for the time being. I'll show you in a second. I've actually got some bread cooking, so I better check that first, aren't I? I've got a little toasted, but she'll be good. So, bread dreams dealt with. All these are marked out and cut everywhere where all the different tomatoes are going to go. But I'm not putting them in until Friday when the last frost day is but you'll see in this video on to the next task clear all this out put down black fabric over everything landscaping fabric so that's ready to be planted but i'm gonna move all this stuff out first so let's do that now Boop. change of plan <laughs> i'm gonna do that half and then do that half because there's just too much stuff coming out and it's getting really windy so I'm not going to risk that because I want to put it all underneath this so I don't have any of this going on over the season big grass up the side so I'll bosh that half in and boop and then I'll bosh that half in right? right Up one bit. That'll be nicer that all the grass doesn't grow all the way up the wall there. Now did either bits move all that over? Pop. It's clear. Mission getting all that over there. These look nice though, don't they? Look at them. Ooh. Right. Change that to that. Shazam! This bit's patching with the last of the bits, but at least that one is done now and ready. Not sure what it's ready for yet, but we'll see you soon. Telling you now, don't get tapies. Rubbish. 
sort out what's going to happen in here. I want to reuse this, but it's got a bit battered from the winter. Let's see what we can do. The wind is really spoiling filming, unfortunately. I have to put a fence in here and have what the what boy's little pen for him because otherwise I have to fence in each individual bed and I just don't have enough materials for that. So I'm boshing this little fence here all the way to that gate, all the way across. And unfortunately, it only leaves them with this space, but what can I do? Well, that looks awful. A little fence made of nothing. But it'll do for now, and then at least they can't get into this bit. Then we can start building up these beds, and want to use that again for peas and stuff. So, it just makes sense, doesn't it? Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, makes sense. Actually, run out of time for things that I want to do in here. Like I'm going to do peas and stuff, but I need to untangle them all, and it takes a lot of time. So, I might have to wait. Still have a million other things that I need to do, which are not very filming friendly like washing and garbage like that so i say i shall see you in the morrow unless anything magical happens of course uh i'll see you wednesday morning all right see you in a minute harvest them as well close this up tidy up and all that nonsense and all that rubbish <sighs> See you in the morning. Is Wednesday. And what are we doing today? I hear you cry. Not this. I'm just procrastinating. You know the problem with that is you just have to do the things you don't want to do anywhere that you're putting off. So you might as well just do them. So let's just do them. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oops. All right, all right. I'll stop. Okay, okay. On to the things I was meant to be doing. Ah, that is going to be a nightmare when the horse flies come out because they're attracted to black. So, we'll see how that goes down. Right, I'll do these plants that I don't want to do, I'll just do them, all right. You're not having babies. Come on, get off your little nests. No more ducks, right? Right, where to put these peas? I kind of need them growing up the fence. So it's gonna have to be down here somewhere and I'll have to prepare a bed. So let's skip to me. Done that in the future. Boo! Gonna have to be a little thing like that. Just with rubbish offcuts and that from the shower. And rubbish bits of wood that don't even fit. I mean, that's how much that was off, look, but I just don't even have the materials. So it'll do. It'll keep the soil in anywhere. Just need to fill that up.
There we are. It's not pretty, but you got to use what you've got. So the peas will grow up the fence and also these pieces um, I can string so they can all grow up that as well on both sides. So that'll do for that little P number. We've got loads of peas though, so that's only going to do a few of them, right? But I need to start getting the beds together. The uh, comfrey's coming through. Comfrey's great. If you don't grow it, you should, because it makes great fertilizers and all sorts of stuff. Um, I might just clear up all this grass around it and make it look a little bit nicer though, eh? Do that. Hmm. A little better. I really need to get about a thousand meters of um, more landscaping fabric for all around the edges and everything because the grass grows like wildfire around here. I'll stop gabbling and I'll bosh these peas in. Ready? <laughs> Side one. Nearly out of string though, so side two is going to be pretty difficult. And these are fun untangling all these. Ho ho! Wow! That took a long time. I've still got half a tray left as well. But I'm just going to have to do because that's all I can fit in there. I had to find loads of bits of string and all sorts of rubbish. It took me far, far too long. Hopefully, it's all right for the winds because apparently it's going to be really windy. Oh. <laughs> Who knows? I'm not painting. You're painting. All right, all right. I'll stop. <laughs> Only because I'm out of paint now. I'll get some more soon. I see you in the morning for Thursday. Morning! It is Thursday. It's getting quite difficult to film something every single day. But here we are. Um, it's going to be really windy today, so I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to film. I'm also feeling a little bit weak from uh, the long and disgusting winter. So I might go on a big hike uh, and I'll film some of that, shall I? See what happens, see what I put in, see what I don't. Come on. Right, let's go for a little hike, shall we?
spot. Ooh. I've done a top tip for a while, eh? Let's do one now. Let's try and get down here first. Hopefully I don't kill myself. What is the top tip that we could do? Or a bit of knowledge or something. Uh, fear. Let's have a little chat about fear, shall we? Oh, fear. Best way to combat fear, I think, is exposure. So trying to like face your fears, even if it's in like tiny little bits, you know, ease yourself in. But facing them usually breaks the cycle, breaks the little routine and pattern that you have in your brain. And you should slowly start to overcome them. Also, if you've got somebody that you can talk to, family member, friend or whatever, that's always helpful. And just being healthier in general helps a lot. So healthy eating, get plenty of exercise, helps with a lot of issues. Oh no. And uh, obviously try and relax and not overthink the situation because that's always a bad one overthinking it and uh, also consider speaking to a professional if it's really really got on top of you got stuck in a bush and if anything else I'd say always remember that it's only a brief emotion that only exists in your brain it's not an actual thing it's just an emotion and it won't last not really a top tip that is it though that's just not letting fear control you I only say that anyway because I was thinking about bears because that's the area where the bears live I didn't even see any signs of them whatsoever so but I'm nearly home do you know how I know? because I can hear a duck quacking away a little beacon through the forest right I'll catch up with you in a sec and not only the ducks being the beacon but my bit of forest is a lot taller than the other bits of the forest because it's not been cut. So that's a good little uh, long distance beacon as well. But here we are. Try not to get blinded. Hello, my little frecklers. Have you been guarding? Good, good vicious ducks, good. So that's our little hike over with. It's only about an hour and a half. Um, and I'll do some training, but it's not, I don't want to film that. That's Bleh. yuck. Cringy as hell. So I'll get on with that and then uh, I'll plow on with a few things. Because it's one more day until the final lot of frost. Well, it's tonight. And then it's going to be the mega plant out, which will probably be the next thing in this video. Good morning. It's Friday. Let's, ah, oh, last frost gone. So let's bang in everything, everything we possibly can. So, let's do it! So let's do tomatoes first. There's about 60 tomato plants to deal with. And they will go all well. 
I've got that teal going here. But I'll whiz to it because you don't want to see that. So just let's go. One side done. But I'll show you more in a second. And the other side in. What I hate about transplanting tomatoes is how sad and dead they look when they go in, but they do heal up. And if they don't, there's plenty more that can replace them. So that's all good. So now down the middle, just going to bosh in the tomatillos like this. Boop. It's uh, coming along nicely. Tomatillos are in all down the middle. But I need to now use some of this compost, which has taken two years to break down to this. Um, that's what it takes in the cold, unfortunately, without just naturally, you know, no. I didn't put any accelerants in it or anything. Fill up some um, buckets, because I need to put some of the tomatoes in buckets so they can be moved around, etc. I'm going to use a little bit of this in the bottom of the buckets as a bit of a nutrient-rich feed. So, hopefully, that's good. Pow! It's filled up with tomatoes and tomatillos. Things in buckets just in case I have to move them. See what survives and what doesn't. You'll see by tomorrow because we'll have a look in the morning. I'm still uh, extending this because I need... Don't look at the rubbish. Don't look at the rubbish. It's not for you. Um, I've still got quite a few that I need to deal with. So there's all those, a couple more tomatillos, a few more bits here before I can move on to this polytunnel. So I think some of them are just going to have to live outside on this. <laughs> and we'll see how that works out, shall we? Probably not very good. Getting a bit carried away now, eh? It's taken long enough, but I need room to put things so I can do this with a polytunnel. But some things arrived, so that looks nice. And boom! He's only gone and done it, hasn't he? That's filled. I just need to tidy up a bit. A few things that need to go back inside for the night because it's getting late and all the mosquitoes are out. But it's not too bad for a day. At least all the tomatoes are in. These extra buckets I've just put in here for the night time. Um, hopefully they'll pick up a little bit now. We shall see tomorrow though, eh? <laughs> and there's also all the kaolettes, sprouts. All these are squash, but they need to go in because they've not got the true leaves yet. Some of this can just be out now. But blah blah blah, all stuff I'm gonna sort tomorrow. It's getting late. I need a coffee. I need to make some food. I need to pump some water. I need to have a shower. So I shall catch you for Saturday. See ya. Good morning. It is. Saturday. Sorry for my lack of filming yesterday on Friday. I just had a lot of stuff that I wanted to get done. So it shortened everything. But today I'll be with you a little bit more. And today will be our final day of this video. Because I still need to edit it all and put it up for Sunday. So without further ado, let's get into it. Thankfully, everything has survived and healed from the uh, shock of being transplanted. So everything's looking nice and green and alive. It'd be nicer when they're bigger and they're producing tomatoes, but you know, we've got to wait for these things. And good, all my little transplanted aubergines and peppers also survived the night. And have recovered from their little shock as well. They look tiny in here. Uh, they look massive in pots. And then you put them in the ground. And they look like nothing. 
So I'm going to have to plant a bunch of stuff, but I feel like I've overdone that in this video. So I might also go out somewhere. I might have a swim. Who knows? We'll see. So that's some of the morning tasks done. Pump the water that I didn't do last night. But this is on the brink again. It was at 100 when I started pumping water. It doesn't take a full battery to do that. So you guys are rubbish. This is the third one. So I need to go out to the shop to get some coffee, unfortunately. It's one of the only things I have to buy in. If anybody's got any good ideas where I could bulk buy in Europe for um, coffee, that would be excellent. And uh, get on the old Buy Me A Coffee app, the link's in the description. <laughs> You'll see why, I'll show you the price of the coffee when we we'll get to the shop. You'll be astounded. Let's go. Good old coffee addiction, let's go. And we're back. Just a few little things that I thought I'd show you, just to show you how hideous it is. And now you can understand why I like to grow my own food. Horrendous. Anyway, the coffee is retrieved. Now I can bang on with a few jobs. So, see you in a minute. A few more chilies. Beds filled. This one planted. Giant rock removed. Another bed planted. All these planted. All these planted. Both duck houses cleaned. Just need to get everything watered. And that'll be little tasks for the day done. That needs to decide whether I'm going to go down to the lake today, on Saturday, or do I go on Sunday and make it an actual full week in this vlog. Uh, I've still got to get back um, tomorrow and edit it all and get it uploaded for you on the Sunday. I guess you'll see what I decide in one second. Everything watered. I've still not decided yet. I think though I'm gonna do Sunday so then you get a full week. Sounds better, doesn't it? Sunday I've come to a little swimming spot so I'll have a little morning swim wait for this coffee to brew first though eh? So, thanks very much for joining me this week for a little week off grid. Hope it was slightly enjoyable. 
I know it's going to be a real long one. So it's going to be a lot of fun editing this to go out tonight. So give me a little comment. Let me know what you're saying. How are you doing? And that would be lovely. I'm going to drink this and then I'm going to go for a swim. Hopefully it's not painfully cold. But time will tell. I shall uh, see you next week. Have a good one. Look after each other. Have some fun. And remember, you only live once. So get on it. Bye. Bye.